Does should Germany return to the fiscal purity of old and honor? You know, it's in the Constitution that you have to have a balanced budget. Or have times changed and you support the fact that for the first time now you have this pooling of debt at the European level? I don't think the pooling of debt is a good idea. I'm more in favor of this idea of a stability union where everybody has to look after their own finances. Also because I think it's very difficult to explain to German taxpayers, specifically those who are not making very much money, uh, why they should pay for the debt of others that they have no control over. So that's that, that's a political answer to some extent. But if you look at the unbelievable amount of new debt that has been amassed throughout the corona crisis, I mentioned this, hundreds of billions of euros, I'm more in favor of going back to fiscal prudency uh, because otherwise I don't see how this will ever be reined in. And then, like, for me, I don't see a way out of that other than growth and a better economy, which has other issues, like, for instance, CO2 reliability. So for me, it would be more, let's be prudent. Let's make sure that business can work their way. Let's make sure that innovation is happening. Um, and let's make sure that we have good and well-paid work for the future. As long as all of those are happening, I would be content, but then we still have to tackle the big issue of climate change and some others. Michael Bloss, you agree that it's better to return to uh, uh, what you just heard Jens describe as uh, fiscal prudence? Uh, no, absolutely not. I mean, what we, what we were doing were, is actually not investing into infrastructure, into also public buildings, into schools, kindergartens, but also into the uh, transition away from fossil fuels. And that uh, clearly is uh, also uh, taking depth from, from future generations. So, of course, we need to have uh, bigger investments now that will actually help um, our economy to, um, well, to be more future proof, to be actually able uh, um, to compete with um, other economies like in the US, like China, that are actually having huge investment programs. So um, I think this is also, it, it would have been nice to really debate more about this uh, question because this is about how should the future of Germany and uh, Europe look like. I believe um, that th this um, prudency argument is very inward looking. It does not look to the outside world what is actually happening, what do we need. It is not really future proof. Um, but also, uh, just to, to bring back the coalition question back again, I would not say that uh, a grand coalition uh, could not continue um, with the Social Democrats, for instance, now uh, in front, because this is what Scholz is all about. As you described him, you know, this is uh, uh, the uh, Merkel um, 2.0. And, um, and thus, even though the party program is much more progressive, I think that Scholz himself is more like a, a a grand coalition guy instead of a guy who is really uh, now doing things differently and investing, for instance, in the future. All right. Another you mind if I object? Go ahead. Sure. Uh, just very briefly, I'm, I'm not in total disagreement. What I would like to mention is that a lot of the investments that were just mentioned also have to come through our federal states, so the lender. Um, and in those, I, I always forget the number, 12 or 13, the Greens are in government as well. So I think it's a bit of a lame argument to say it has to change on the federal level to get more in, in, in investment going, because nobody really disagrees that investment is important and that it's happening. What is more important is the planning gets easier, it gets more efficient to really get things done, rather than have very long processes and a lot of administration around it. So it's not just the money question, there's a lot more connected to this. Nice that we debated, um, but the problem is that the, the federal states, they are actually bound by, uh, by law and by the Constitution to have a, a balanced uh, a sheet. Um, so they are not allowed to spend that well and to invest so much. So it has to be the federal level that actually is investing. So that's the, the big problem that we are facing in the last years. There's too little investment and it has to be solved on the federal level.